Hello to you my fellow artists and friends and welcome to this art challenge video and these very cheap supplies. So I wanted to make a cheap art supply challenge for a month now and you have also been requested me to do one but I haven't really found any supplies that I thought were cheap enough. I mean cheap can be like 10 to 20 bucks but I wanted them to be really cheap like one to three dollars which has been really hard to find actually but then a dollar store just popped up from nowhere pretty close to where I live and it was in September though but I haven't really had a chance to get there until last week but there I finally found and picked up some really cheap supplies so I got some water based fine tipped marker for about one dollar colored ballpoint pens about two dollars wax crayons about one dollar and color pencils about two dollars and I asked you on Instagram and please go follow me there if you want to I'm Katvalk there as well I post lots of work in progress pictures and all kinds of artsy stuff there and cats so as I said I asked on Instagram which supplies I should use first and the pens got the most votes so that's what I'm gonna use today and as you may have noticed these are not color arranged which bothers me and I'm not sure if you can see this but look at this tiny pieces of plastic around the tip so funky All right, enough talking, let's get on with this challenge. I really struggled with what I wanted to draw for this challenge. First I thought I wanted to make a portrait, because that's what I normally do with ballpoint pens. But I wanted to challenge myself even more by making something that I normally don't do with pens. So I made a few sketches and came up with this owl with a scarf and ear flap hat and I thought it turned out so cute and I almost didn't want to use it for this challenge, risking to destroy it. So yeah, I worked a lot with ballpoint pens before so I know how to use them, it's not new to me. But oh man, these pens are not as the pens I'm used to work with. It's not that they are cheap, which they are, but they are of such low quality. And I got 10 pens for about $2.3, which means each pen costed about 23 cents. Not that the pens I normally use are expensive super pens. No, they often cost about three to five dollars, but as I said, quality makes a huge difference here. And the pens were so difficult to work with, the ink tubes or pipes or whatever it's called, the things that holds the ink inside the pen was all loose, which, which made the tip moving around a lot. You know when like working with color pencils and the tip breaks but it doesn't really come off? It's a little bit like that. So yeah, it's a bit wonky and unstable to work with, but you kind of got used to it. And I'm sorry if my hand is in the way a lot, I just had to angle it in a strange way so the ink would come out, the pen stopped working like all the time and I had to draw like crazy on another piece of paper to make it work again, you know that old trick. Another thing that really bothered me was that the pens left all these nasty ink blobs everywhere which I of course had to put my hand in and smudge all over the paper so yeah that was really the worst thing with working with these pens it was so sticky and messy and my hands were full of ink stains afterwards so not a huge fan of that and I had to use a paper towel to wipe off the tip to clean it from blobs Ugh. So talking a little about the color choices here, since I didn't have any brown or grey or any other natural owl color, I decided to make it pinkish purple. But it's also wearing a hat and a scarf, so you could tell that this is not a normal owl anyway. So pink and purple for the feathers, I also added some yellow to brighten it up a little to make it more colorful and vivid. And speaking of the yellow, it was really the worst color in this set. It was so sticky and made these little ink strings and it looked kind of 
dirty. It might be because I mixed it with some other colors, but I swatched it on a piece of clean paper and it still looked kind of dark and grayish. One of the better colors that didn't really leave any blobs were the red one, which I used for the hat, and I didn't use the black or blue ones a lot, mainly because they are more like regular ballpoint pen colors. And But I used the black one for outlining later, and for the background I used both the blue and black, and I feel like I could have used the green more, but to get more contrast to the pink and purple and red, but I didn't really know where to put it. Uh, I used it for some leaves later for the background. I also wish that there was another kind of blue as well, and not only the boring regular one, so I could use it for the background. And so much layering. I did the cross-hatching technique in so many layers to create deeper colors, and it really hurt my hand. And because of the loose and wobbly tip, I had to hold the pencil even harder to keep it steady, which made my hand hurt even more. But what do I not do for you guys? So that was a bit of a pain, but I survived. Good thing I've trained my hand a lot. But I really had a fun time making this challenge and drawing, even if it seems like I'm complaining a lot. I really enjoy working with the colored ballpoint pen, I really like the effect of it. And I've actually been thinking about getting colored pens, but with a bit more quality. And I think that considering the quality of these pens I'm working with, the drawing turned out pretty okay. Even if it may look a bit sloppy made on some parts, like the wing look a bit messy, I actually did my very very best trying to make this look as good as possible. But as I said, the pens were so wobbly and so hard to control and leaving these little blobs. So yeah, there's something I could have changed if I would redraw this, which I would never do. But I'm pretty proud of the outcome anyway. So the thing with cheap art supplies, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with cheap, but sometimes quantity comes before quality, like in this case, if one of these pens would have cost as much as all the pens together, you would probably get a much better and nicer pen. And sometimes cheap supplies are all that some people can afford, and that's okay, just do the best with what you got. But if you can afford a little more, at least get some better pens than these ones. Regarding the other cheap supplies I got, I'm really looking forward to make something with the wax crayons. I haven't used crayons since I was like 8. And I tried them on a piece of paper and they actually seem pretty decent to me and quite pigmented. And the color pencils, not as pigmented. Uh, the water-based markers will be a nightmare, they will definitely ruin the paper. Um, and that's funny because I use those kinds of markers all the time when I was little and I really love them. So yeah, really looking forward to that. So that's about all what I had to say. And I chose to keep the background pretty clean and not too detailed, so the owl would pop even more. And maybe I could have worked a bit more on the background, but at that point my hand almost fell off. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this challenge and I hope that you liked the result. Let me know what you think and what supplies I should use for the next challenge. Thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for even more challenges and art videos. Bye!